What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I've got right here the OnePlus 12 as well as the Pixel 8 Pro. Pretty much the flagships, the best of the best from each company, from OnePlus and Google. And we're gonna put them head to head. We're gonna compare the two. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you guys which device I would choose as a daily between the two and also break them down to a couple of categories, design wise, performance and camera and which one beats out the other. Uh, and of course, these are all just my preferences of how I see things. Some may disagree, some may not, or some may agree with me. That's okay, that's perfectly fine. But let's start things off with design. And here's the thing, they both have their unique design. OnePlus has how found their style and Google has found their style with the camera visor and Google or OnePlus has found their design and their style with their camera, the circular camera cutout. And I got to say, it has evolved throughout the years and there's camera cutout does blend in with the side right here. Uh, it does have a curved display on the front, a 6.82 inch QHD LTPO 120 Hertz panel. And if you don't like curves, then this may not be that device for you. Uh, it hasn't really gotten in the way of my use, but nonetheless, I still prefer a flat display. It has a peak brightness of 4,500 nits, and you're pretty much getting a OnePlus device. I mean, if you've used a OnePlus 9 Pro or old, newer, like a 10 Pro or a OnePlus 11, this is, you're gonna feel right at home. Even if you use a OnePlus 7 Pro like I did in 2019, you're gonna feel right at home. It's even got the alert slider, which is a key factor in the design department for OnePlus. I wish other companies brought a alert slider. It just comes in really handy. With the Pixel 8 Pro, this is definitely matured from its drastic redesign with the Pixel 6 Pro. So we're getting more rounded corners that also help uh, when you're holding it in the hand. And Pixel 8 Pro has the satin matte finish when compared to last year's Glossy, which was one of the biggest complaints that I personally had for from the 7 Pro. Now, this display is also great. Google goes for a flat display. They call it super actual display, peak brightness of 2,400 nits. One of the brightest on the market, obviously, there's brighter displays now, 2,600, 3,000, 4,500 nits. And I think this is the year where smartphones just kind of had this like brightness, display brightness war type of thing going on. But the display on the Pixel 8 Pro nonetheless is phenomenal. I think Google made some really good design changes with the Pixel 8 Pro. Uh, so huge thumbs up for that and keep it up, Google. Personally, which one would I prefer? I'll be honest with you. I would go with Google, and here's why. I just don't really like the camera cutout on the OnePlus 12. It just feels super large and sticks out in just like this one corner of the phone. Whereas the camera visor on the Pixel 8 Pro, it just takes up like a slim part of the top of the phone. That's really all. It just feels more minimal and it just looks cleaner as well. So for me, I would personally choose Pixel 8 Pro for the design department. But again, it does come down to preference. OnePlus really goes all out with their green color. I love this green uh, and it, it, it also feels really nice. Doesn't have like a glossy feel either. It's like a satin finish as well. Uh, display wise, they're great. But again, it just comes down to preference. And here I would go with the Pixel 8 Pro because of that more minimal type of design feel, including that flat display. But things change up when we head over into the performance, and this is gonna include the software as well. So with the OnePlus 12, we're getting the latest and greatest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It has up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, Android 14 on board, and four years of software updates. That does sound pretty good. Pixel 8 Pro comes with the Tensor G3, and it's not the most powerful chipset when you put it against things like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or even last year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But the day-to-day -day performance has also been just as smooth. I haven't faced any hiccups, any issues, nothing whatsoever with the Pixel 8 Pro. It also comes on board with Android 14, 
and seven years of software updates. So we're going to be getting software updates until 2030 with the Pixel 8 Pro. That means Android 21. That Seven years, I don't know how long we're going to be holding our smartphones. I don't know if anyone hold on, holds on to their smartphones for seven years. But that's really good. OnePlus argues that they have their own reasonings for why they don't want to push out for seven years. And four years of software updates is still pretty good. I mean, there was a time where they were offering like two and that was like if it wasn't a matter of when it was like it was a matter of if they're going to support it for two years so i'm really glad that oneplus also upped up their software game as well uh, software wise though i like the look and feel of pixel ui so there's that too uh oneplus though for me it does edge out in the raw performance department but i still personally choose the pixel ui over oxygen os there's also this too, Google offers more AI built-in features into the 8 Pro, whereas you don't really get any AI type of things in the OnePlus 12. And many companies, especially in 2024, are going towards AI. Samsung with their Galaxy AI, Pixel is adding more AI features. We're expecting Apple to put in more AI features into their upcoming iPhone 16 series. So we got a lot of AI things going on, but we don't have anything really with the OnePlus 12. So I'm gonna say it again, but I think OnePlus 12 edges out in the raw performance as well as like the specs. You're not going to get 16 gigs of RAM on the Pixel 8 Pro or more. Well, granted, this only has 16 gigs of RAM here in the US. Uh, you're getting a standard 12 gigs of RAM with the Pixel 8 Pro. But for me, it comes down to the uh, software use and day-to-day -day, uh, use because I'm going to be spending time with that soft built-in software. I just like the look and feel of Pixel UI. If you're going to use this on a daily, both of them are great. OnePlus 12 has a better chipset and the better internals. And again, this does come down to preference. So I'm just going to leave this at a draw because of, because of really that. Performance on OnePlus 12 is much better, but I still prefer One Pixel 8 Pro because of its software experience, because of Pixel UI. Again, though, things are gonna be changing up with the camera. So it's kind of like a, they're kind of tied. I mean, uh, OnePlus really does well in the performance department and they're known for that. They're, they're raw performance. They're really fast, speedy, really good at that. Let's see if they can keep up in the camera department. So OnePlus 12 is getting a 50 megapixel wide, a 64 megapixel periscope telephoto with a 3x optical zoom and a 40 megapixel ultra wide pixel 8 pro though comes with 50 megapixel main camera a 40 me 48 megapixel ultra wide and a 48 megapixel telephoto lens and here's the thing hands down like daily photos google takes the crown for better photos and better video results between the two their computational photography has been awesome the past like four or five years it's pretty much the pixel 2 they've been doing a phenomenal job and when I took photos with these side by side, I instantly preferred Pixel 8 Pro when I looked at them side by side. I like how the results came out on the Pixel 8 Pro over the OnePlus 12. For me, Pixel 8 Pro takes the crown and the camera, the problem. I'm not gonna go into the details of like the saturation and the contrast, all that stuff. It, it comes down to how me as the user sees the results and i just like how google pushes out the results uh with the photos and the videos so yeah i would choose this to use as a daily camera phone over the oneplus 12 any given day however again uh we're gonna change things up so we're giving some points to the oneplus 12 and points to the pixel 8 pro the battery this time it's the exact opposite. OnePlus 12 knocks Pixel 8 Pro out of the park. A 5,400 milliamp hour battery with the OnePlus 12, 80 watt Super VOOC charging, 50 watts wireless charging, and charges to 100% in about 28 minutes. Pixel 8 Pro, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, but it's just super slow to charge. Like, I don't even remember the exact charging wattage speed. A wireless charging also really slow. Dude, like Google, you, you gotta 
up yourself in the battery department in the battery life game now daily battery life how does it last here's the thing one plus 12 performs much better it lasts much longer than the pixel 8 pro hands down like pixel 8 pro will last me all day but like it's i'm barely making it to the end of the day whereas one plus 12 because of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the great optimization and a physically larger battery, as well as that faster charging, this is easily a much better battery-based phone. And OnePlus was always known for that, for their fast charging. And it's no different with the OnePlus 12. So I would, I would definitely choose OnePlus 12 over the Pixel 8 Pro in the battery department. And let's, things, let's end things off with the price because pricing is an important factor for many out there. And these are both competitors. They are both priced at similar range from like the $799 to $999. And it depends on the configuration you get. Uh, OnePlus 12, $799 for its base model, $899 for the top model, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. I think you're paying for a premium phone at a great price, especially when you compare it to devices that carry the same specs and are priced higher or phones that are priced higher with even lower specs. I mean, if you wanna start comparing with like 12 gigs of RAM or Tensor G3, it's kind of a lower spec phone. Pixel 8 Pro, starting price is $999. Now here's the thing though, I've seen this phone for $799 went on sale, which does then directly compete with the OnePlus 12. So if you're gonna pick up Pixel 8 Pro, don't pick it up at MSRP at $999. Pick it up when it does go on sale. But for this category, I, I think OnePlus offers the better value with everything that it includes. Overall, after all of this, these things that we just discussed or that I discussed in this video, I would still choose the OnePlus 12. And here's why. Again, it's a preference choice. For me though, battery and battery life, battery charging speeds and battery life, as well as the raw performance are top priorities for me when choosing a smartphone. I will take them any day over design. I will take them any day over the camera uh, because I, I'm not really getting a terrible camera on here. I'm not getting a really terrible design. It's just parts that OnePlus hasn't really, for me at least, perfected. They perfected the battery life they perfect the battery speeds and they have done really well in the performance department. And when I mean perfected, like I mean they have been doing well in those departments and those are top priorities for me. OnePlus 12 is gonna be that device for me. Pixel 8 Pro has been an amazing device and I will still continue to recommend, I will still continue to recommend both of these devices. We've come to a point where smartphones have gotten just so good it's really hard to choose a smartphone. I personally think it's really hard to choose a smartphone now because they're so similar. They perform very identical things and it ultimately just comes down to which one do you like more? Uh, do you like the design and or the software or do you prefer like one thing over another? That's where things change from person to person. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to zoom around the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. We'll help push my content out to more people. Those who are interested in checking out my latest wallpaper pack, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. And if you want to check out my other merchandise, I've got coffee mugs, I've got desk mats, I've got joggers, I've got sweatshirts, sweaters, hoodies, uh, duffel bags, water bottles, you name it, we got it. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.